Dusty, who do you have on the phone? Okay, um, we're going to go with Will from Los Angeles, California. And I got to tell you, Will, thank you for being part of this opportunity. I always want to be able to do more calls. It's the number one criticism that I get about the show, believe it or not, uh, especially because there's so much to criticize about me. Uh, but the number one criticism is uh, the calls are too rushed. You have to take more time. Tonight we have it. What do you got, Will? What's your question? It's a pleasure. You, Dusty, and your amazing team, Chris, are the best in the business. Keep up the great work always. Um, so basically, do you think for the Brian Kohlberger University of Idaho tragedies and murders, is it all a walk in the park to him? Is he, does he think he can play the system, outsmart the system? Or is he perhaps scared, nervous, and then expecting a guilty verdict? That's why he today you know, was stayed silent, didn't say not guilty vehemently or guilty. What are your thoughts? You, uh, uh, you know what? You want to hear something uh, that's actually interesting or at least insightful about me? I spend very little time considering what you were just laying out. And that's not because they're not good and do considerations. Uh, and you're right to pose those questions. You're right to chew on that. It's a big part of the curiosity component of situations like this, trying to understand what goes on. Uh, in someone's mind who kind of looks like the rest of us, but does things that are so inhumane, so savage. But I don't do that. Why? Because my mind and, and with Dusty, we're so focused on trying to figure out how to explain what matters and how to best present it to you and all the competitiveness of what's going to happen next and the bookings and the information and breaking it down that I don't really have a need or an appetite for that kind of speculation. Uh, now, some might say, good, because you're a journalist, you shouldn't. I, I think that that is a very restrictive idea about the intellectual pursuit here. I think analysis is warranted. I am just not as fascinated about what he's about. You know why? I can't get past how he victimized these young kids. Uh, and I know that they were in their 20s. I, I understand. But to me, at my age, I see these people. I see kids. I see somebody's babies. I see my babies. Um, and I can't get past it. I really don't give a damn about the guy, to be honest. I want the process to be fair. I want justice to be served. And that is fairness under law. And if it doesn't seem like it's going that way, either from the investigation or the trial, I have no problem calling that out. But I don't give a damn about that guy. And I don't spend a lot of time uh, doing perusals of the personal traits of killers or terrorists unless they're instructive as to why it happened. Now, on that, Will, I think that we already know enough to know that this guy had a sick fascination with the unattainable. Uh, and I'm not comfortable enough with the concept of what this involuntarily celibate, this incel thing uh, is about. I know that that label has been thrown on Koberger. I don't know the social science or psychology well enough uh, to participate in that. Uh, but him hanging around and watching the stuff that he did with the colleague uh, that we broke and then Dateline tried to say was theirs, uh, that points to somebody who has a fascination with controlling something that he can't control, which is the feelings of people he may have amorous intentions towards, but they're not returned. Uh, that obviously is in play here based on what we already know. Next. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.